All right. Uh, shalom, shalom, Israel. This is your brother, Nai Yaakov. Um, and also, uh, shalom to the world, because uh, that's getting ready to happen really soon. But uh, we must pass through the anger of God first. Um, uh, the same thing that happened to Christ must happen. The whole world must be, in a sense, Christ uh, uh, through the anger of God so that uh, uh, peace can reign and, and, and understanding can reign. And I'm saying that all to say <clears throat> to the entire world, I see y'all, y'all mourning right now. Every single place that I turn, y'all fearful of diseases, uh, things like that. Um, everything that I, everything that I, I see online, you know, and, and I, I'm going to say it, it truly does hurt me to my heart because, you know, um, I may be introvert and I may be separated from the world, but. I hate to see people in pain. And for me, the pain that I've seen a lot of people in is that forgetfulness of God. You know, um, because he's been the one who we all need. You know, our, our hatred towards one another that that I'm used to seeing in the world. You know, uh, growing up with that anger within me. Uh, because of the wrong that, that that lives in the world, you know, the 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 neglect one towards another, you know, um, uh, how in order for you to care about me, I got to be one of your friends or I got to be a close acquaintance to you. You know, if, if I'm a random person that you walk by, you know, um, uh, you easily ready to do me wrong because, hey, it doesn't matter, you know, and, and, and again, I already addressed it in the video how a lot of y'all out here hoarding and doing all that y'all doing and taking away from the weak, you know, uh, uh, the, the strong taking away from the weak, or in this sense, the wealthy taking away from the poor, you know, uh, and then you got your price gougers out there. There's, there's, there's evil and then there's, there's, there's wickedness and then there's good. And I'm going to talk about the good. I've addressed the evil and I've addressed the, the wicked, but I'll, 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 I'll talk about the good intent. How about that? That's better. You know, I, I see in New York, I see how y'all, you know, applauding and trying to cheer for, for, for your, your, uh, your health care workers that are on the front lines. I see that, you know, um, uh, uh, and I see how. For some that are quarantined or some that are sick, you all are going through great grandiose gestures to show, you know, love uh, 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 in the best way you all know how. And the only reason you know of the way that you all choose to take is because of the movies that you've watched is because of the 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 entertainment that you've received showing forth gestures of quote unquote love um uh where you're doing uh uh like for example the guy who wants to propose must do a great grand proposal uh, uh, for for the woman to feel the most special woman in all the world, get the the greatest diamond for her to feel the 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 greatest special, the greatest uh to feel like the greatest woman in all the world. But here, let me tell you, your kindness, and 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 I and I, you know, I I understand the sincerity of your heart, but the kindness that you've learned about, that's absent from the father, is wicked. In the eyes of the Father. And I speak very softly because I know that we are in a critical time. And I don't want to um, uh, 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 anger, stir up the, the anger of God all the more. But it's going to get stirred up even more, family. I already know that. That's already going to happen. But I want to speak in a way so as to point out exactly what y'all need to do. You understand what I'm saying? 
in order to keep the in order to in this thing to, to to stop it from happening not just that but you know you you may get over this pandemic and then another one will come see there's something else that's over us that's bigger than the pandemics we see that's bigger than the earthquakes that we see that's beyond all the tragedies that are happening in the external world we need to move in and realize that internally the anger of god is kindled against man for his wickedness, the same as it was in Sodom and Gomorrah, the same as it was during the days of Noah, the same as it was, the anger of God is kindled. And now we need to do good to appease that and not good to appease or to, to mimic or take the uh, uh, parrot um, approach to uh, 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 the good that we do. As we have seen in other movies, we do externally calling it a, uh, a a grand gesture of love just to show forth things that are not really according to scripture and even still in the end really does no good it's just a gesture that is as temporary as this life it is a gesture that is as temporary as the moment that we're in right now and so once that moment passes those gestures are gone and that's what i'm talking about if y'all gonna do good if y'all gonna change if y'all gonna applaud your workers if y'all gonna do justice for the sick if y'all gonna uh 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 uh, uh find a uh, uh, drop off food to quarantine victims. If y'all gonna do these things, let these gestures not be for the time that we're in. Let them be considered in your mind forever changed. I will forever do this. This is my nature. See, I had a, a talk with my 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 brother the the, the other night. You know, um, uh, he and I, we, we're technically on the same mindset. We're on the same mind frame, you know, flowing in, in, a, in a great uh, frequency. We've been that way all our life. So having a conversation with him on high levels, you know, is, is, is almost uh, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to my mind. And so, you know, he was the one who made the, the uh, made it clear to me. What's what's happening also, you know, his name is Raziel, but when Raz spoke to me, okay, um, uh, and he was saying, pay attention, and I'm about to explain it to y'all, to what's happening on account of this coronavirus. For me, keeping the scriptures was like this. I searched out these holidays and found out every one of them was false. So I backed away from the holidays. I searched out this food that, 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 I, that I was eating in the earth and found out a lot of it was unhealthy for me and found out that for me, you know, um, a little different from, from my brother there, but for me, I've in my journey, my search led me all the way to a veggie, a vegan lifestyle, you know, fruits, veggies, things like that. Things that come from the earth, or the earth, a produce uh, a lifestyle, you know, where I want to eat of the work of the hands of another rather than the, 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 the other, the, the, you know, destroying and killing a thing, uh, uh, as opposed to, uh, uh, partaking of what that thing makes you know like the you know destroying and killing a free a, a, a tree and uh, as opposed to eating the fruit that 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 the tree bears you know so i i i desire to eat of the the produce the work that the 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 tree takes year a a, a, a year in a season to produce and, and create for the you know benefit of man you know things like that so and then the produce of the earth where it, it it grows up herbs and trees and things like that you know there's there's a way to look at things you, you you see that there's a production already in the earth that god set forth and then of that production man has the right to partake but of the life of a thing of the well-being 
of a thing. Man has no right to destroy that. Scripture says, for meat, destroy not the work of God. And so we destroy the work of God and we need not do that. We need to, uh, for, for our meats, we need to, uh, to, to uh, join in with the, the work of life because life, you know, man sees life, but he sees not the creative uh, work that, 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 that keeps that life going, you know. And so I say join in with the creative work so that, so that you can, um, you know, so, so, that, so that you can live in harmony with all things. But I see those things and I see, you know, buses. The buses here are free. You can just hop on a bus and, and ride and go from one location to the next. You know, I see so many different, if you notice, so many good gestures are being forced to be made on account of this uh, pandemic that we're in right now. So many good things that people should have been doing is now forced upon man to do. Which, you know, this this is only uh, uh, the beginning of it because it's going to get worse. If you all don't put yourself in the scriptures, it's going to get worse for you because you're going to want to figure out how to live when life is utterly changed. You know, how to do the good thing, how to live the good way. You know, when when, when life is utterly changed. All of you are going to want to figure out how to do these things but you because of your natural essence because of what you've caused yourself to be you've willed yourself to be you won't be able to find out how to do that good gesture when that good gesture is staring you down in the face. You won't even care to do it not knowing that doing that good gesture is the very thing that's going to make you live. The the very thing that's going to turn the anger of God into love right in right before your very eyes. And so I say, I see you and I applaud you in sincerity, but in ignorance, I reprimand you in ignorance. I rebuke you uh, in, in a kind way. You got to understand rebuke is not is never a bad thing. Rebuke is always a good thing. But in your temporal mindset, I rebuke you in the fact that. You uh, you know um, uh, uh, what you're doing is here today and gone tomorrow. I rebuke that. You know what I mean? What you all are learning that is good right now. You're 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 forced not not to celebrate these holidays right now. Don't y'all see that? You're being forced not to celebrate holidays. Not to worship any pagan gods. You understand what I'm saying? Christians can't even go to church and Muslims can't go to church. You know, all of these things. And then the only ones who are who are um, uh, uh, careless about it, they still try to fight through the anger of God to do it. But something's worse is going to happen to them because they're not uh, 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 doing what the father has decreed for all of mankind on the earth to do. And you would say, hey, what are you talking about Christian pagan God? What are you talking about Muslim pagan God? What are you talking about uh, Hindu pagan God or any of these religious pagan gods? I'm going to tell you, all of mankind has drifted away. And that's the reason why all of this is happening. When y'all open your eyes, you will see. But the whole world has drifted away from the truth in God. You understand what I'm saying? Christians... I charge you for making a fool of faith. You understand what I'm saying? I charge you for making a fool of faith. See, I hear you say it all the time. All you got to do is believe in your heart and you are saved. And they're still preaching the exact same thing. But man is not saved by what he simply speaks. Man is not saved by just what he simply believes in his heart. But faith, listen, salvation is a three-step ladder, okay? Belief is first. Faith is next. And then fruition is last. You understand what I'm saying? You believe Though you may not know for, for of, of a surety that this may be the case, but you think it might be. So you believe and you go to dabble in, you go to search, you go to question, you go to put it to the test, right? 
And then by doing that, you find experience and you understand the truth in, in, the, in, the, in the fact about a thing. So faith is what man knows is true. So you think it's true first, but then by going into it, using your faith, you know it's true. Okay. And then when you know a thing is true, you become that thing you know. And so I charge Christians for simply stopping at the first step. You understand what I'm saying? I charge you for stopping at the first step and some at the second step, but never really dabbling into the third step. And so you delve, you, you have your congregations where there are mixed uh, 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 people who come as they are. True enough, this is right. You ought to come as you are, but you do not remain as you are in the presence of God. You go into the presence of God dark and come out shining. You understand what I'm saying? You never leave the presence of God without having learned a new thing, without having experienced a new thing, without having seen a new beauty, without having understood a wonderful thing in the Father. You understand what I'm saying? So to think that you come as you are and go as you are and you remain as you are in his presence. No, you're going to come in my presence. I'm the Father and the Father says, you will come in my presence. I will make you my son, my daughter. I will grow you. I will increase you. My plans is to see that you have a great future. You understand what I'm saying? And so I will lift you up. I will grow you because that's the parasitical nature is to grow. If you are not growing, then you are not in paradise. You are not of a parasitical essence, I should say, rather. You are not of a parasitical essence because you cannot grow. When you become set in your ways, you are a dull tree and you need not grow any further. You, uh, The only thing that's waiting for you is death. And, w- and listen at me. When you grow, growth is a hunger to life always. Understand, life and growth are one and the same. They go hand in hand. And as long as you're growing, you're hungering for life. And the Father put in us something that can grow eternally. And that's our soul. That's our mind, our spirit, our thinking. That can always grow. But the moment you stop, the moment you cease, the moment you stop growing in the Father, there grows within you a hunger to death. And so this is why men die. You understand what I'm saying? You see, fa- the father knew that the moment he said, when you bite of this, this, the fruit of this tree of good and evil, you shall surely die. Why? Because you're going to begin to hunger for death. You understand? And all that which is in the extent in the external world is of a temporal nature. And so it is meant the the, 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 the order of this kingdom is a cyclical order. Live, die, live, die, live, die. You look at the seasons. The seasons show forth that there is life in the trees one day where they look as, as, as though they are alive. And then, boom, there's death where they look all frail and all the leaves are off of it and it's in and, and it's in its uh in its a uh, a tree that seems to be unto death you understand and now it looks like it's dead and where all the leaves off of this tree but yet it it's born again and that's the cyclical nature of this life full of vanity you understand what i'm saying never alive and alive still ever more all the more in the father it's always here today and gone tomorrow things are always changing in this world And so, God knows, and listen at what I'm about to say, that there are those out there who would sincerely put a sincere heart forward, but only do the best that they know how to do. And that's where I understand that you all do what you see in your movies you, you sing your songs, you cheer, you do all of these things, but your daily walk is way off. You understand what I'm saying? Your daily walk is way off. And 
the you only your daily walk is off because you have not gone into the word of God so as to make that cheer that you do a true thing because that cheer is what you do in your heart all the time. That song you sing is a true thing because you sing the song of life all the time. You understand what I'm saying? And so I see that y'all trying your best, y'all doing what you need to do to get through this thing. That the Father put on my heart. And I told y'all way back in September this was going to happen. And now I'm just I'm just here to try to help y'all get through it. Even though very few people see. But I'm, I'm trying to help y'all get through it. And I see that y'all sincerely going forward and doing y'all thing. Trying to do good out there. Things are being made free. You, none of y'all can worship these holidays and things like that. I see more people actually you know it. We're supposed to be quarantined, but I see more people outside enjoying the sun, enjoying the natural things of life. You see, we are all being brought back to that simplicity in life that actually brought us joy, that actually helped us out, that actually made us good beings growing up in this earth before we got lost in this technological society, before we got lost in this earth and in this world with all the dainties and meats this, that Satan gave to us. And then that brings me to the topic of exactly who I'm angry with. It ain't y'all. Yeah, and I do say anger. I'm talking about zeal. The one who's making me upset with the way people, the sheep, upset with how the sheep have been maintained. I charge the leaders, you understand? Because they're the ones where, who, in this pandemic, they see an opportunity. Right. In this pandemic, they will continue to lead the people because of their high places and things like that. They will continue to lead the people and take the people where they desire the people to go all for their own selfish reasons, all for their own selfish pride. Yeah, the sheep, the simple ones, y'all who are out there trying to cheer and going through the pandemic and things like that. And even some of you high ones are, are dealing with the with the disease as well. That's how I know it's the father, you know, because it's hitting every doorpost. And y'all are not free from it, not blocked off it. Y'all got to go in y'all holes just as well as everybody else. And so in that way, I know that it's the father. But then... I charge you, you spiritual wickednesses in high places. I charge you. You are the one that I'm truly upset with. You understand what I'm saying? You are the ones that I have the problem with. You all are hiding in the dark. And you're steady trying to usher this thing where you want it to go. But I guarantee you where you think it may be going. Your moneyless society, your 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 martial law, whatever you want to do, wherever you think this is this is going to head, you are deceived because this this thing is in the hands of the Father. And again, out of those simple ones, out of that blade of grass, the Father is gonna put you all in your place, even if you have to cut you off at the at the neck. You understand what I'm saying? So that you as the head can no longer remain to usher in a new age according to your will. No, a new age needs to come in this time according to the will of God. For there is a pendulum that, that has been happening for a long time. It's been light and darkness. Light and and darkness, an age of light, an age of darkness, an age of light, an age of darkness. You understand what I'm saying? This has been the age of greatest darkness. It has been already the age of greatest darkness. So now, you darkness, your age is up. The age of light is getting ready to come in. You understand? And it'll be light spiritual uh spiritual righteousnesses in high places you understand what i'm saying is as, as opposed to spiritual wickednesses in high places and so when the wicked rule the people mourn but when the righteous rule the people rejoice and so now the whole earth is mourning on account of your rulership and you're the ones i have problems with you're the ones who taught the people what they what, 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 the good that they think that they're doing right that temporal good. You taught them that temporal good. 
you know and so you hide in your place you hide in your secret places right and and cause the people to uh to 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 be uh 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 led the way that you would like you know and you poison them through their clothes and through the things that they eat and through the through the things that they see and in society making certain wickednesses uh right and righteousness is wicked you know what i'm saying what i'm saying twisting and and turning everything around I'm so sick of you evil leaders out there. And you're the ones I have the problem with. See, this, the sheep are sincerely doing what they think is best. What they feel is good. But as long as you all remain over them, what they think is best is going to be here today and gone tomorrow. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're going to lead them right back into the cesspool that they came out of. And so the anger of God won't let up. The anger of God is going to continue to come down like a hammer on everybody's head. You understand what I'm saying? And so I charge you, you evil, perverse things that are fully convinced and reprobate in your mind. And there is nothing no one can say or ever do. There is absolutely no hope for you in your thinking, in your changing things up. You will always... Try to do the wrong thing, which is the reason why after a thousand years, you again, you Satan will be released and try to coerce Gog and Magog yet again. But Christ is going to put you in chains. It's already written. Yea, he will put you in chains and, ca and, and cast you to a place where you will never come out ever again. I'm so sick of how you doing these people out here. And then they look at me and think that I'm crazy for how I talk to them. You know how I try to tell them the truth, but understand out of the first principle comes the truth so that when the truth is spoken, it hurts, which is the reason why y'all need to understand the anger of God. But then out of the second principle is the love, the meekness. You understand what I'm saying? Well, all that is true turns to meekness. For the sake of righteousness, for the sake of mercies, for the sake of grace, for the sake of the things that we love about the Father in whom we serve. And then the third principle, you got the spoken word, the breath of God, the sound vibration that we see all around us, calling it material, but it's all just sound vibrating. You know, and, 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 and that's when you understand how things come into being. But understand this, you're exposed in my mind and I'm coming and I'm gunning for you. And I guarantee you, everyone, as long as we expose them, they can no longer rule and lead us astray, away from the one who wants to do good by us. You understand? They don't usher out vaccines that are temporal. You understand? They don't, they don't, they, you don't, you don't ever deal with sickness in the presence of God, old age in the presence of God. You don't ever deal with evil in the presence of God. You understand what I'm saying? In the presence of God is what we've been uh, 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 walking over and trampling on our feet. Yea, but now the anger of God is spoken. Now the anger of God is in the earth. You see, and, 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 and you all are mourning, I mourn with you. You all are my brothers and sisters. We mourn together in this thing. You understand what I'm saying? But we will forever mourn if the words of wisdom don't go forth. If we don't get rid of the rams that rule, the shepherds that rule over us right now. You understand what I'm saying? This thing has to be flipped upside down or right side up, back the way that it should be. You understand what I'm saying? And so we will forever mourn. I mean, I can only imagine parents and children and, 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 and people are out there dying that you know that are close to you here today once and gone tomorrow the next. My people, I understand y'all are out there mourning. I'm talking to everyone on the face of this planet. We are all in a state of mourning right now, but it will continue. And that's where the anger of God has a tough anger. It will continue because hearts must be broken, understand, or circumcised. Because the word broken gives you a crazy type image. But when I say circumcised, 
the veil must be lifted. You understand what I'm saying? You must realize that you all are nothing without the Father. This must persist until man's heart is broken because if anything lets up now, that would mar the very symmetry of the work that needs to be done right now within your souls. You see, we are at a place, y'all make, y'all make account, take note. Gather your memories of those who passed away because soon y'all are getting ready to see those same faces again. Yea, men will be in awe when they see the faces of those who have passed away, who have once passed away, back again with them. Yea, and then the very next day, there's going to be a twinkling of the eye and a transforming of the things that, are, that, 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 that we once saw uh, uh, into another way. Those who are of the light will take the form of the light. Those who are of the darkness will take the form of the darkness. And we will no longer be confused about who and who is and what is wasn't, what is not. Yeah, and I'm talking a, 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 a noise in, in my head. But if you all want to know where I get that understanding from, read the Apocrypha of, uh, what is it? Uh, Apocalypse of Abraham. Read that. That'll give y'all one understanding, okay, of 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 what's going on, and then the uh, uh, apocalypse of Ezekiel, uh, I believe it is. Um, I'll, I'll put it down in the, in the link below so that y'all can uh, go and read it because it's the one of in, in Ezekiel that speaks about the transforming of people's appearance, and then uh, in the apocrypha that tells you, I mean, in the uh, apocalypse of Abraham that tells you a lot of things with regards to. Uh, uh, what you know, the the pestilence and things like that, the 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 uh plagues that are um uh befalling us right now, and how we're all being placed in extreme want, you know, and on account of this want, 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 you know what I mean? On account of that, we are definitely going to be dealing with um greater woes to come, greater woes to come. You know, um, uh, uh, there's there's so many things happening out there, you guys, that pretty soon all these walls that separate us as a people, white, black, Asian, everything, they're going to become pronounced first before they are destroyed last. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to become pronounced first. Before they are um, uh, uh, denounced uh, uh, later, you know. So get ready because, you know, y'all may be talking about a good time right now. We may be suffering uh, 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 and going through, but y'all got to understand y'all at battle with the with the anger of God and and none can prevail over the anger of God but, but, the, but the Christ, you understand, but Christ himself. You know, he's the only one who can prevail over the anger of God in such a time where he ushers out a word and he says, peace be still and so be it. You know, uh, healing be done and so be it. You know, um, and, and, and Christ is is the divine love in man. You understand what I'm saying? And when when y'all when y'all realize that the true Christ that we all love, the one that we all adore, is the is is the divine love in man. And so you take the form of Christ that you learned about in the Word of God, because that's only it's only a structure, it's a form that was within a man that he wanted to put that same form within every man. And then when that same form is complete in every man, then you all see the who the real Christ is and how love is truly king over all and not the man we call Christ. Yet the man we call Christ plays the role of divine love. When y'all look behind the veil and you understand that as he did, so shall we. As he does, so shall we. You understand? But I see y'all out there. Y'all doing y'all thing, but those above you, that's who the anger of God got to deal with before this thing ever lifts up. Peace, blessings, and shalom.